What's up guys, this is Shauna and today we are in Troika, Jalan Binjai, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so I'm now outside of the Troika. This is where the office are and there's Acme Bar as well. This is going to be quite interesting. Plus, what I really like, right, this is a new KLCC East Station. So this is going to be even enhancing the connectivity that this building has already. Really walking distance only. In this part of KL, right, it's like a celebration of architecture. Troika is already quite mesmerizing. La. So you can see, this is Corinthian. And this is the elements by Westin. All like focus a lot on the facade design. And this is like next to KLCC area, that's why it's a super super atas one. Another thing is uh, there's a sky dining restaurant at Tower B in this uh, building. What you can see here, the car park, right? Some are individual car parks and some are this, which is called tandem car park. So this particular unit that we're going to be sitting, right? It's going to have two of these slots which means they can park four cars but in authority wise they still consider two la. so that's something to take note when you ask to rent or buy right they say two car parks is it tandem or individual good to know okay guys we just came out from the lift and uh, the problem with towers being together right is the shadow which is dark la. Although the openings are huge. So the floor is only two units, which is incredibly awesome. Coming in from the unit, straight away you have a balcony. The view currently is not very great. Lah. Okay, show you guys later. And this is your shoe cabinet. The first thing that amazed me is the width already. So straight away, you can see this is your living, and this is your dining, and this is your kitchen. So this is the main continuous space you will see next to the views. So you can see that stretch of openings, right? Straight away just brings in the amount of daylight to this space. Awesome. Going out to the balcony on the entrance, that's our view. Right, so these are the office towers. So now it's a very good opportunity to also test the amount of uh, noise cancellation by this. So you can actually hear the construction sound, but once you close it, 90%. This project, very very famous project, is designed by once my idol during architecture days, right? Foster and Partners. Mr. Foster himself is a architect, you can check out his work on Google, right? A lot of very sculptural, very iconic designs and buildings. And this was launched around 2005, 2006-ish, completed 2010. This is 2,500 square feet, which means it's around 2.6 to 2.7 million in selling price. And the rental rate currently, because I'm collaborating with the Cozy Home, so this is in part of their listing as well. It's going for 11,000. Yeah, 11,000 per month. Jalan Binjai, right, is not only off Jalan Tun Razak, it's also off the main street of KLCC. And this one really walking distance to Abang Park, walking distance to all the LRT stations. And if you're working at Ilham Tower, Exxon Mobile Tower, or whatever tower, right? Walking to work is not impossible. And for 11,000, who's gonna rent here? It's, uh, it's gonna be expats, right? For all these MNCs with their families. So this is a three bedroom unit and we'll go check it out. Personally, I'm very excited because I wanna see like, what's the difference between a local architect and uh, international architect difference. Next to all this space, let's check out the view. So, Ignore the construction. So that's Ruma, that's Exxon Mobile, that's Traders Hotel. Then uh, all the famous buildings are all here. Very and that's eight Conley. Three thousand two hundred, I think, per square feet. From the living and dining, this will be your kitchen and. Uh, I don't know how to say that this scale right is just crazy big. This is your oven microwave. So this is your wood and hot. 
a lot of space to prepare sandwich and prepare coffee. La. Okay, this is your basin. And while doing this, you can actually just hang out and chill with your friends while preparing your food. And that's not all. This is your bread kitchen where you do your heavy cooking. And uh, smack S M E G. And it's a very good size, a lot of storage space. Unfortunately, this is where you do your laundry as well. So I prefer to have this in separate rooms, but but then you can see that it's already that's edge to this building already. So this is your aircon compressor and this will be your maid's room on your left. Okay, so she has her own room and her own bathroom. Nice. Very differently they place the DB right, the DB box and the telecom box and whatever utility behind this area next to the wet kitchen. So first concern right, when I cook here and the whole house aircon is full blasting, this space will be super hot because look at the aircon compressors and when it's raining, this whole area might get wet. If you look at this area, it's actually very angular which Chinese might have a problem with. La. We want everything square square one. Okay, let's check out the master bedroom. You see when everything is not square, right? So if I go in here, show in there's this angle of wall. And I'm not sure why, right? The door can open so big, right? They put the stopper at this angle. So it's very difficult to open the door actually. Especially for my size. La. And because of the very weird structural layout. You have column location like this. Then this is your bed. However, the view is still amazing uh, with the balcony itself. This is your king size bed. And this is your humongous wardrobe. By the time, 10 years back, I don't think walk-in wardrobe is a thing yet. Uh, so you, you have a dedicated space for it before your bathroom and your bed, right? But those days, no such thing. That's so why you have a very huge empty area don't know what to do with it timber flooring nice for this unit you still get views like pocket greens and if people swimming then bonus lah okay but the architecture is really something lah for the facade also you have a balcony okay and this is where you have issues of overlooking already one thing I really enjoy from this piece of architecture right, is the details to the facade. La. No doubt that the facade looks amazing from afar, but now today is really to test out like facade versus the space, which one more important. Because of the structural design, they will plan their M&E to have plugs on the floor. So this one is where you put all your things here. Another cool thing is huge units, right? All use centralized aircon. Right? Okay, that's why the compressor just now at the wet kitchen is so huge. We are now in the master bathroom, your basin, check out the spec, Duravit. Okay, yeah, this one is the, those 10 years ago when you design and uh, shower area and your bathtub. Yeah, I like this space. Wow, and uh, your WC. And that's about it. Coming out from the master bedroom, this is two bedrooms. So you look at the floor, right? This is going to be a nightmare for contractors to do. Okay, so this is a public toilet for all your guests, right? And now check out the bedroom first. And once again, if you look at the floor layout, right? Now you can see that this is an angular and this is your bathroom. And here becomes so narrow than your bed. Why? Now before I forget, shout out again to Cozy Homes for actually inviting me to do this review. Cozy Home is a platform where they actually just list out all fully furnished units for rent. If you are looking for a fully furnished unit, just go there and check it out. Okay, for this unit as well, there's some overlooking issues where you can actually see through your neighbors, what they are doing and things like that. Again, you look at the experience, like the room is all around the place. So this is the bathroom, basin, 
WC, shower, all glass, all mirrors. Moving on will be the last room. You can see that this opening is so small. This is so narrow and this is your last bedroom. So if you look at the scale right, of every room, I think it's very, 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 very nice where the amount of opening is enough. The amount of space to actually move around right, is such a luxury really at this current age. The only thing is that the in-between space between rooms, the corridor, the angles and things like that, because all this needs to follow through from the facade itself. Hmm. Then next to the bed, you will have your bathroom and again you can see that it's an angle and you go in like that and this is your basin, WC, bathroom, glass and mirror finished. I'm not sure why their toilet right, needs to be so open uh. like this is also blinds, this is also blinds, the whole toilet so open man. Hey guys, so I think that's all for the unit layout. Uh, now I think let's go to the facility deck. Just to show you guys how complicated uh, the floor layout is. So this is the unit that we went just now, right? And uh, this is the refuge chamber that we are now here. So this is the fire lift. And this is the refuse chamber. Okay, refuse chamber. Uh. It's like that only. Again, no ventilation. Rather, it's a bit because of this column as well. Hey guys, so now we are at the facility deck. Uh, next to the pool, that's the gym using Cambodia. And I think one of the price is actually for this floor already because this is where you can actually see the true magic of architecture. So this is the community hall, right? For you to conduct meetings. This is the MBA building, and the radio hum. Landscapes, right? So this is cool. And these are your lounge. We are at the Central Park, right? The Central Green. And it's all surrounded, so all offices are surrounding this area. And uh, from afar, this really looks very nice, lah. But if you go close, right, it somewhat needs maintenance, lah. Mm. But one thing to really admire is this view, right? It's so majestic. Okay, guys. So I think that's all for the review. It's now time for Sean take three on three. Three things I really like. Number one, definitely the location of being in KL City, the heart because this is right next to KLCC, really. literally next to KLCC, Menara Binjai, next to Tun Raza and KLCC. So that gives you the convenience and the accessibility to all the office towers around, and as well as the LRT station. So you can go to Ampang Park, you can go to KLCC station, and etc. But two, I really like the density, the very low density, because of such valuable location, right? It's very difficult to look for projects that's very low density. So this one in every floor plate, there's only two. This is also a mixed development. You have office down below and you have restaurants which is rather famous as well. A lot of people actually do dine in this sky dining area and you are actually staying inside. So you want to give that private exclusivity but also it's somewhat open to public. Third of all, it's designed by one of my idols back then when I was university because Foster designs a lot of iconic buildings. You can just Google him. but. This really demonstrate, right, those days 10 years ago, what's the evolution of housing from then to now? Like every room has very amazing space and scale to it, but then you will hit to the three things that I don't like. Three things that I don't like, number one, it's the corridor, the in-between space between important spaces, which is the circulation space, right? It's very weird. Like you have very weird corners and kinks all around the place, which I find very weird. Like. So this is really a debate between form of your facade versus your experience in your unit. Number two, you will have a lot of noise here because this is one of the heart in action. So that is something to take note as well. And the last point of all, because this location, right, the rate is actually very different. Uh, this one is 1,002 per square feet. To me, it's not costly at all. Just because the scale is 2,500 square feet, that's why it's 2.7 million. But 
1,200 per square feet at this location. The only thing that it's age, there's like age to it. So a lot of people will debate like this whole versus free hole, right? This building is already 15 years and you can see some of the design is already faded out. You still have 70 over years if this is a lease hole, but this is a free hole project, don't worry. Uh, shout out again to Cozy Homes for actually having me and shout out to Jay. So Jay is just there. Okay, uh, if anything, I'll put his number down below for viewing arrangements. And if you really like this video, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan.